Hi everyone, this is Asim and I'm working as product marketing specialist at Good3. We specialize in various open source technologies and technology integration as can be seen on our site. Here's the web address. In our previous screencast, we talked about business process management and went through a demo process. In today's screencast, we'll talk about adaptive case management or, cut or task management capabilities within our application. Or in other words, we'll learn how to manage set of tasks or activities not implemented as part of any process. Let's go through a couple of slides to understand the underlying concept. Now, businesses can be considered as a set of activities. Businesses are of highly diverse nature. Ranging from product manufacturing businesses where millions of producers go through the same process, or businesses such as software engineering center where each project have different goal involving different people and technologies. So the most important question is, are businesses a random set of activities? If you look closer, you will start seeing, seeing repeated pattern of activities. Actually, these repeated pattern of activities are candidate processes. So the second most important question is, how do you manage activities that are not part of any process? To manage these activities, we need adaptive case management capabilities. Now, many of you have seen discussion over the internet titled Business Process Management versus Adaptive Case Management or BPM versus ACM and one would take over the other. But in my personal opinion, both are here to stay and I consider them to be part of a larger discipline called Business Activity Management. On one hand, we have Business Process Management to implement structure processes. On the other hand, we have Adaptive Case Management where the task and resource involvement is dynamic or adaptive. But businesses need both of these functionalities and everything in between. A business activity management application should provide the facilities to implement highly structured processes and also provide the facilities to implement semi-structured processes where a knowledge worker would have the flexibility to involve people and resources dynamically. And similarly provide ASM capabilities to handle adaptive processes and a case task should be able to represent an embedded structure process. Let's quickly review the process we demonstrated in our previous screencast. It's a very simple process, credit note process. A credit note executive will raise a request. It will be reviewed by a team leader, approved by a department manager, then any further approval based on company policies. This is an example of highly structured process. For semi-structured processes, now suppose that some of the requests require client site visit for verification. And still how the credit note manager will reach to a conclusion about request validity is highly unpredictable, dynamic or complex to model. Now suppose the credit note manager see an approval task in his inbox. After reviewing the request, he decided that it required a client site visit for verification. So he'll create a subtask of the process task. Title client site visit. Then he can assign the, the task to a target person. In this case, we'll assign it to person. Just to reiterate, this is the part which we refer to as semi-structured process where the overall collaborative model is defined but the knowledge worker have the flexibility in how to fulfill his task. Now the user will be notified of task assignment. He can go to his inbox, review the request, review the task. Visit the client site, maybe attach some documentary proof. And resolve the task. Now he cannot complete the task. He cannot complete the task because he is not the owner of the task. He is just the assignee. So he'll just simply resolve the task. In which case 
the task caller will be notified of task resolution and he can review the task maybe confirm the documentary proof and after reviewing the task he can complete the task now back in the main process task he'll see that the task clients at visit have been completed and maybe he can post some comments saying request verified as per task number one two three and then he can simply complete the task and process will flow as per process model now let's talk about dynamic or adaptive processes suppose you want to organize your year end party as we can see there is no process to help you in this so we can start by going to the tasks and create a task title year and party 2012 then we'll create two subtasks title work venue and one more task arrange servings now there can be any number of tasks now we will assign these tasks to different users in this case i also want i'll be transferring the ownership to ownership of the task as well and involve myself as a manager only and then the user awesome will see the, the task book when you in his inbox and because he is the owner of the task he can invite further people and even create sub task in order to fulfill or complete the task after fulfilling the required the user can simply click complete task and the original organizer will see in year and party that the book venue task have been completed and once all the tasks have been completed he can simply close the main task in this case is saying that there are some open task open sub tasks do you want to still close the task or no we can decide to close the task or we can wait for all the tasks to become closed and then we can complete the task in summary we discussed about structured and semi structured processes an adaptive case management functionality within our application in the future we will be posting more videos so stay tuned to our youtube channel take care and bye for now